A common concern among incoming and continuing students is how to make friends in school. Because a lot of things are online this year, I sense that people are even more worried about making friends in high school, college, or university. I expressed the same concerns when I was a first year student, especially since I'm more of a shy, introverted person. I can count on one hand how many times I have left the house since my first year for anything not related to school. Since then, I've met some really great people who I really appreciate during university. I've since graduated and reflected on some of the things I wish I knew during my time in university. Before we begin, please consider to subscribe to I Wish I Knew to support this channel. So, making friends is sort of a two step process. First, you need to be in a position to meet new people who could potentially be your friend. Then, you need to find a way to continue to talk to them. Let's address the first part of this process, how to meet new people. My first tip is to take initiative. Especially when you're in a class of 500 people or more, you need to be the first person to say hello and to introduce yourself. Stop waiting to receive confidence so that you feel like reaching out to people. Instead, start by challenging yourself to talk to one new person a day. For example, if you're in a class that's online, try introducing yourself and form study groups through the forums, which will allow you to revise the material and meet new people. My second tip is to participate in smaller group seminars or tutorials because they are more interactive. I made friends through a study group at McGill called Fresca, which I attended to ask questions about class material. Like I mentioned earlier, classes could include 500 people or more, but these small tutorial sessions have usually under 10 people. So I would ask a stranger next to me if they understood a concept, and sometimes people would ask me as well. Alternatively, you could attend office hours if you have any questions, as other students could be there as well. My third tip is to join organizations, groups, and clubs that bring together like-minded individuals. Ideally, the organization would meet frequently and talk about mutual interests. A great way to expose yourself to these groups is to attend the club fairs at school and to search for them online. I would always attend these extracurricular activity fairs through my time at McGill University twice every year. An extension of my third tip is to join online communities with people who share common interests. For instance, if you're a student, you might enjoy being a part of several Discord communities, which I'll link in the description box below. Just as a reminder, these are public communities, so please keep yourself safe. So now that we've discussed how to meet people, I'll offer my tips on the second part of the friend making process how to continually talk to your new potential friend. I think that the most important thing to do is to reach out to them and see how they're doing. So if you're watching this video now, I challenge you to message a person you've just met and ask them how they're doing. Give them your time and generally listen to what they have to say. Honestly, even something as simple as tagging them in memes is a fun, lighthearted way to keep in contact with your friends. My next tip is to read social cues. Of course, some people are not going to be interested in being your friend, and that's okay. Try to analyze their responses and nonverbal cues to get a sense of whether or not they are interested. For example, if someone mostly provides one-worded answers and if they're constantly trying to turn away from you, just move on because they are not interested. Conversely, if someone is leaning in and engaged, chances are that they'll like to continue the conversation. My final tip is just to be patient. The tips that I've outlined above are things I have done in the past. I realize that friendships take time to develop, so knowing that you've put in effort to make friends is already a great first step. I've got some more thoughts about the process of making friends in my living off campus as a freshman video, which I'll link in the end card of this video. And that wraps up my tips on how to make friends in college and university. Please subscribe to I Wish I Knew, give this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for the next video.